the moral leader of our nation. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. After my election, there was talk of a post-racial America such a vision, however well intended, was never realistic. Race remains a potent and often divisive force in our society. Because I understand, I still understand how race plays a huge part in America. And um, for me to be sitting here on the eve of the finals, one of the biggest sporting events in the world, and I have to answer questions about racism. Um, it just lets me know that that it's still here, and, and we should all know that. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, Sweltering with the heat of oppression, be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Young people of America, white, black, red, brown, and yellow. Young people of America, you must save America from its dark past. Young people of America, you are America's hope for a brighter future. Young people of America, you must lead America to a new beginning.